Hey, it's Angry Admin here from angrysysops.com and today I will show you how to install your own certificate authority. Uh, why do we need this? Um, we need that because I want to show you in the future video uh, how to install ADFS and how to integrate that with the vCenter for authentication. Although I have already a video done about that topic, it appears that that video is not good enough and you need video in more details, which I am willing to do, but I need to prepare my infrastructure. As you know, I have the domain controller and I have some VMs and this is my uh, vCenter VM and on the other host there's a few VMs and another VROPS here. So there's one caveat and the one thing I need you to be aware of is that you should not install CA on the domain controller which has a FISMO roles. Now, my environment is small and I am going to do exactly that, which I shouldn't do. And I probably know that some security people will start chatting why it's not a good idea. Um, so please, if you're a security person, leave the comment why we shouldn't do that. Um, but other to that, remember, don't install if you can on the DC with Fismo. Uh, you can spawn up another domain controller. Again, my small environment allows me to do it on my domain controller, which has the Fismo ROMs. Okay, uh, without any further ado, let's do it. Okay, guys, so to install our CA, we need to log in to our uh, domain controller and open the dashboard. Okay, and then we're going to the top corner and go manage. We need to add roles and features and click next. And this is the role based. So click next. Yes, I want to use my domain controller. Click next. And now, as you can see, Active Directory Certificate Services. That's what we want to do. So uh, highlight that one, click Add Feature and click Next. We don't change anything on this screen. Click Next, click Next. And now, as you can see, there's a few more options to choose from. Now, we are going for Certification Authority. But if you have like firewall services, you need to choose add this role or you can add another role. But for our purpose, the first one is enough. So I just click next. Now we can restart, but this doesn't require restart. So I will not check um, that box and let's click install. Now it will take a few moments, so I will speed up the video. Okay, and as you can see, the installation succeed. Now we can close it. And now we need to configure our certificate authority. So we click here on the exclamation mark. And as you can see, there's a link to configuration. Let's click on it. And now we have this wizard. Okay, so this wizard is basically click next wizard. Uh, there's not much uh, things we need to configure, but uh, firstly, um, the credentials, I'm staying with my username, so I click next. The only option here we can choose is certification authority because we didn't install the other roles. So let's click it and let's check it and click next. Now we want to go for enterprise CA. So the difference between Enterprise CA and Standalone CA is that Enterprise is tied to Active Directory and it's much easier to work with than Standalone. As you know from my previous video, uh, we are using Active Directory and my vCenter is connected to Active Directory, so we're going for Enterprise CA. Click Next. This is the root CA and there's nothing above that uh, CA, so click Next. Now we need to create the private key and here you go you can choose your algorithm uh, if you have a windows 2019 2022 and um, there's a 
256 is the algorithm you want to choose. If you, in the older systems, like I think uh, 2012, uh, you will go with SHA-1. Uh, however, it's um, not uh, recommended anymore. So just click next. Now here, I'm just leaving everything as it is by default. And on this page, it's very interesting and sometimes it's misleading. So this validation period is it not for the certificate which will be issued. This is only for your CA. So we can do, I don't know, 10 years, doesn't matter really. Click next. This is the log, um, log location, I'm leaving as default. And summarization, click configure. And there you are, we have configured our CA. All right, so let's close it. And now let's open our certificate authority. Okay, and we can see our CA server and we can see all the sets. So let's see the issue sets and there is none. Okay, so to issue certificate for that server, we need just to reboot it. So let's do that now. Restart and continue. Restart anyway. And it will take a few moments. I can see it's restarting. Guys, uh, you can use this time to subscribe to my channel and click notification bell and leave a like. If you do have any questions or comment, please leave them down below the video. Okay, and we are back. So let's uh, see the CA again. And let's go for issue certificate. And there you are. This is our certificate for our domain control. Okay, guys, that is everything for this short video. I hope this was informative for you. And next video, watch that space because on the next video, I show you how to get the certificate for your vCenter. All right, so click a like, subscribe to my channel, click notification bell and leave a comment. Also follow me on Twitter at AngrySysOps. I am answering all the questions through the Twitter. All right, bye.